Utah math scores for elementary students fell slightly last year. This is according to the Utah State Board of Education. Well, one trick to keep more students engaged with math might just be leftover Halloween candy. It would work for a lot of us, and new specialist yes. Alex Cabrera says it worked for one class in the Jordan School District. You can work with the person sitting next to you. It takes a special kind of teacher. We found the volume, right? And how do you find the volume? To make math fun. I love all the subjects, but I really enjoy math. Good job, this group. Sure, I got it. It's a challenge Dylan Meyer has with his sixth grade class every day. You know, a lot of the times you have just head slumped on the desks. Okay, I'm going to give you guys about one more minute. Until last week's project. So I divided that. Which his students absolutely. 1,008. Eight up. So there were 267 full-size Milky Ways there. Yes, Milky Ways. The caramel chocolate mix is perfect. It's a perfect candy bar. <laughs> you see, Abe Yosby is the principal of Foothills Elementary in Riverton, and students know he loves Milky Ways. Well, I remind them nonstop. On the announcements, I tell them I love Milky Ways. What they brought him for Halloween, though. They blew me away with how many Milky Ways they got for me. <laughs> the students just wanted to make him feel welcome. This is his first year here. It made me feel, like, happy. Welcoming, and I love, I mean, this community is so great. But just how many Milky Ways did he get? What's the volume of this? All the classes decided to have a competition. And then we'll say this is 24. Without actually counting them. We broke it up. By different shapes, right? Mr. Meyer saw it as a way. So we didn't add it up. We to make math fun. Kyla. So I was like, okay, kids, this is what we're gonna do, because all the other classes are just gonna make a random guess, but we're gonna use math and we're gonna figure it out using math. Using all sorts of geometry and mathematical calculations. Each Milky Way was one and seventy-five hundredths of an inch square. Even some kind of model to determine size and volume. They were like falling off the table because there were so many. The class came up with a number. We guessed 3,173. The total was 3,178. They were five off. I look at the equation that they did and I still don't understand it. And I'm the principal, so maybe I should. <laughs> the students sure understood it. We got to deal with a lot of different numbers and a lot of different equations. We got to learn more math, too, which is fun if it's in the right way. <laughs> Turns out there's no wrong way when it comes to kids and candy bars. To make it something relevant into their lives, I think is a good way to go, like, Oh, you learned math, actually. You know, you tricked them into learning math. Now the trick is making all those candy bars disappear. <laughs> <laughs> I share them with the teachers because I'm getting a little sick of them. <laughs> In Riverton, Alex Cabrera, KSL 5 News.